Hello everyone, you are listening to me on an academy English medium platform. Uh, so now the topic of discussion is the world's first genetically modified rubber crop. As you know guys, genetically modified plant always very very popular and every day in some newspaper you will get some article related to genetically modified plants. Actually this is the first time that you will listen like in India, okay the first genetically modified rubber crop grow. Where it grown, what about the importance of it, what about the reason behind the development of this crop. All entire discussion I will do here in this entire lesson. So it's a lesson number eight related to science and technology. So in the beginning, guys, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Dr. Ravi Grari. I've done my PhD from IIT Delhi. I'm working as a director of Purvanchal IS Gorakhpur for face to face classes. I'm taking your classes of two subjects. The one is on science and tech and second is on environment. From last 18 years, I'm taking UPSC civil services classes. Thousand plus selection already happened. I have written two books. The one is on science and tech and second is on environment and both two books published on McGrahill. So it's my telegram channel where you can find out my all the entire PDF. So for all the entire PDF, you people stay tuned with me here. A part of all the video link I also share here guys. So also share here all the video link. So that will be a one single stop solution for all of you to connect with me, especially for the science and tech and environment. My academy profile is anacademy.com applicant at Ravi P. Agri 2010. Here you will get my plus subscription, a part of iconic classes. Those are paid. And the other side, my special classes also available here. And these special classes are freely available for all of you. So both two options you will get here. So kindly enroll it, kindly follow this anacademy link. It will be really very beneficial to everyone. There's a use code guys during joining any courses, you must have to use the review UPSC code, extra fees, 10% discount you will access here. It's a best educator for UPSC, CSC, those are taking the live session on Academy. And my classes are also available here for the science and tech environment. All these faculties are highly experienced faculties and you people know very well all these faculties. So it's an Academy Civil Services Championship, India's biggest prelims based national scholarship test. It's going to schedule on 27 March. So don't miss it guys. To enroll it, you can see the link below given. A free and comprehensive interview guidance program for UPSC CSE 2021 is going to schedule now. It's totally free of cost for all of you. Even those people are eligible for the interview 2021. Kindly go and enroll now. It's experienced panel of uh, mentors to help you as UPSC CSE 2021 interviews. And it's going to start from first week of April. So hurry up guys, register now. It's an Academy Light where we are providing you the Jana Studies and CSAT based prelims test series. Okay, it is the test series available for both 2022 and 2023 prelims examinations. 50,000 plus enrollments already happened. It's a very huge in number guys that students even trusted on uh, an Academy online test series. This test series is for six months and the one year subscriptions that you can see on the screen. So now the topic for those, I made this whole entire video for all of you. And this topic is connecting with the current updates. Again, the name of topic is world's first genetically modified rubber crop. See so guys, the world's first genetically modified rubber crop, it was a news in the last of 2021. It was uh, grown in the outskirt areas of Guwahati, Assam. Again, I repeat, it was grown in the outskirt area of Guwahati, Assam. But see, this genetically modified crops was developed by a Kerala-based institution. The name of institution is a Rubber Research Institute of India. Again, I repeat, Rubber Research Institute of India. It is a uh, working under the rubber board through long years of research of biotechnology laboratory. And definitely, guys, it is genetically modified plant. And genetically modified plants are actually, actually, the result of biotechnology laboratories. How this plant develop? Why this plant develop? What about the purpose of it? Okay, everything I'll discuss here in this lesson, guys. Actually, the GM rubber plant is the first of its kind. Okay, and the purpose of this plant is to grow in the northeast regions. Because in the northeast condition region, guys, some of, somehow the condition is very severe. And the severe condition, the growth of the rubber plant is very, uh, you know, uh, is not possible in that particular area. And that's why this plant even developed, guys. Okay, how this plant developed and all here you can see MNSOD gene. Actually, MNOCD is the gene that even identified even in the case of the rubber plant. And this MNOCD gene, we have to multiply it. Actually, the gene is the MNOCD. And the gene is responsible for the formation of MNOCD enzymes. Enzyme is the kind of proteins. Those are responsible for any metabolic activities inside the living organism. So again, I repeat, MNOCD is the gene that is available into the rubber plant. 
and this amino acid gene is synthesized amino acid as an enzyme yeah proteins okay and see amino acid is what that is a manganese containing superoxide dismutase okay this is very very important even sometime upsc has recently that this is the news so that sim the similar type of question upsc can be recently amino acid was in the news so it is related to so remember it is related to related to genetically modified rubber crop see one thing more guys amino acid is an enzyme that is developed by amino acid gene and this is the enzyme that is already available okay that gene is already available into the mitochondria okay uh, sorry this gene enzyme is available into the mitochondria actually you know the role of the enzyme is what it protects the energy generating mitochondria from the oxidative damage actually you know with the amino acid enzyme is no more the amount of amino acid is very less so what is going to be happen to the mitochondria guys mitochondria is going to damage inside the cell guys and due to this reason amino acid enzyme okay when it destroy there into the into the cell so they 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 created a many disease into the living organisms they even the diseases like cancer neurogenetic diseases various cirrhosis so this type problem even being identified due to effect of amino acid this amino acid formation is going to reduce so these type of problems are very common that is being identified in the human being and what is here guys and why 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 because of amino acid decreases this happen because it is going to be happen about the breakdown of mitochondria so mitochondria due to oxidative okay oxidation reaction and something it is going to damage their guys and if mitochondria damage there so you can see this type of problems are very common what we are doing here in this case you just see guys actually through the help of this enzyme through the help of this enzyme what about our purpose our purpose is to protect the plant cells against the severe conditions against severe environmental conditions which kind of severe is environmental condition stress condition cold and drought types of situations if cold and drought type of situation is going to be happen amino acid is the enzyme those are generating by amino acid genes it save the plant against the cold and drought situation means against the severe conditions okay and see in the beginning guys when the rubber plant is in the young stage okay so ultimately in the young stage if suppose the condition is severe winter type of conditions so with the help of amino acid enzyme the young rubber condition against the severe winter condition will be safe okay you must be clear guys so that is the condition here amino acid gene that is important again i am repeating guys ability to protect the plants from the adverse effect of extreme environmental stress such as either cold or the drought situation does not matter and that is the reason that the younger rubber plant is totally safe okay younger rubber plant is totally safe actually amino acid gene see amino acid gene is used in the gm rubber crop okay and how we will we will you uh, see uh, this gene we are using in the gm rubber crop how we will do it actually you know what we are doing the amino acid gene is already available in the rubber crop what we are doing in the another rubber crop we are going to multiply this copy multiply multiply this copy and after the multiplication of the copy further the amino acid gene we are going to reinsert into a cell of rubber plants if rubber plant have us have a this type of gene still we are going to multiply the numbers and we are going to introduce into the rubber plant okay and that's why the amino acid gene increases the amino acid enzyme formations and those keep save the plant against the severe conditions of severe winters and stress type of conditions and this is the first time that any gm crop is developed exclusively in the case as a, as a as a gm rubber guys what actually the gm crop is gm crop i hope you all guys know very well gm crop is a genetically modified crops and see it is a lot of it has a lot of importance in the agriculture bt crops you know gm mustard like lot of the plants you people heard it that is very very even golden rice is very very popular guys and the procedure those we are adopting in the case of genetically modified plants the genetic engineering methods we are using here okay in that way guys a lot of the lot of the characteristics people are going to induce into the plant body like resistance to the certain pest like bt crops resistance to against certain diseases resistance against the certain severe stress environmental condition that you can see in the case of genetically modified rubber crops resistance against the chemical treatment like resistance to herbicides even improving the nutrient profile of the crop like bt crops suppose sorry golden rice suppose golden rice so those golden rice support it is being developed because of the improve the quality of the vitamin a so ultimately the nutrition supply we have we have also introduced induce in the case of golden rice and golden rice is a genetically modified plants this all the example you can see it is a food crop guys and the side genetically modified we can also use for the non food crop also how in the case of non food crop also pharmaceutical crop pharmaceutical agent the medicinal value guys medicinal values even biofuel guys the four generation biofuel if you written my the static class guys four generation biofuel i have discussed there four generation biofuel is totally based on the genetically modified plants 
After introducing the cert engine, after introducing the cert engine into the plants, plant induces the formation of lipid content. And lipid content we are changing into the diesel formations. So ultimately, fourth generation biofuel is what? It is also through the help of genetic engineering technology, we people can induce the what? Biofuel production and other bio-industrial useful goods also. A part of bioremediations. In the in, in the previous lesson, lesson seven, guys, I hope you people remember, I have discussed about the oil jaffa. I have discussed about the oil jaffa. Oil jabber is what? Oil jabber is also the kind of genetically modified bacteria and these bacteria are developed into the Indian laboratory guys, biotechnology laboratory. Okay, and Indian laboratory, those oil jabber was developed, it is genetically modified bacteria and whenever you use the genetically modified bacteria, oil jabber, as, as you know, the powder of oil jabber is called as a corn cob. Okay, this is a C-O-R-N, corn cob. And this corn cob powder have a lot of the oil jabber, you know, genetically modifying bacteria. If you spread on the oil spill leakage and all, okay, ultimately they are going to destroy, you know, decompose the oil spills. So ultimately bioremediation also the part of what? Genetically modifications. Actually, you know, the many type of different types of genetically engineered crops even has been developed either through the help of addition of genes or through the help of removal of, genetic, removal of genes. And this addition and removal both are the processor we are using into the genetic engineering techniques. And different types of technical process we are using like gene guns, electroporations, microinjection, agrobacterium tumorphosis, CRISPR, CRISPR Cas9. I hope you know very well that is the gene editing processor. Two times even UPSC already asked UPSC prelims question about the gene editing. This all technology I'll discuss somehow in the, some other lecture. But yes, these are the various procedures. I just want to save you guys. As UPSC can ask you one, two, three, four. So be safe. All the procedure we are using in the case of genetic engineering techniques either for the addition or removal of the gene guys this type of genetic engineering processor we are using now the question is what about the types of modification of gm crops how how we are doing the modification of the gm crop just a brief guys because transgenesis is very common processor so three modification processor i brought here the one is transgenic second is a cisgenic and third is a subgenic what is transgenic guys transgenic is those where we are going to insert a gene okay from from other species another species so this is the species b and this is the species a from species b to species a if any kind of genetic transfer happen it is called transient even even the bacterial gene we are going to transfer into the plant in the case of bt crop i hope you remember guys and the name of bacteria was bacillus thuringiensis bacteria and bacillus thuringiensis bacterial gene it was called as a cryonic gene when you people transfer into the back into the plant guys so definitely bacteria is one of the uh, species and the plant is another of the species we are going to transfer and this type of this type of genetic modification is called as a transgenic yeah one kind of one type of plant is going to transfer to the another kind of the plant gene is there okay fine uh, what is the sage gene guys sage gene here, here the here that here the transfer we are doing under the same species member okay if the genetic transfer happened we are, we are overall i can tell you the closely related one we are going to transfer the gene that is called sage gene and what is the sub gene sub gene here in that case we are not going to transfer a gene from one to another either same species or different species in the case of sub gene guys those procedure we are adopting that is called either gene knockdown or it is called as a gene knockout now the question is what is gene knockdown and what is a gene knockout actually we are doing some genetic makeup into the own genetic characteristics so those gene or dna sequences are there we are incorporating the genes without without incorporating our genes we are doing some changes into the own genetic characteristics but we are not going to transfer from one to another organism so by changing the own genetic character inside inside the genetic modification happened this is called as a subgenic modification okay and here through the help of genetically modified crop also generated if you see in the case of Indian scenario, guys, India has approved the commercial cultivation of only one crop, one GM crop, that is BT cotton. Do you know why? Because BT cotton is not edible. Because BT cotton is not edible. Even whenever the uh, protest uh, against the genetically modification, modified plant happened in India, okay, uh, even the main reason was the health and immunity. Health and immunity. Health and immunity was also. Main reason was health and immunity also. Okay, in those among main reasons, one of the main reason was health and immunity. And that is a report, guys. Cotton is not edible, guys. But you see BT mustard. You see BT brinzel, they are edible. And if anywhere the report will publish, 30 plus type of, you know, health issues happen. Immunity losses happen. Anybody will like to eat the plant, those will reduce the immunity. In the case of COVID, we people always prefer the consumption of food, those will enhance immunity. Here, these type of food are going to decrease the immunity. But BT cotton is not the edible crop, that's why BT cotton is allowed. 
But however, the confined field trial, overall the field trial, if you see the in India, 20 plus GM crops, field trial already happened in India, already done guys. But allow wise commercially GM crop allowed. Now one of the questions that I made for all of you and I'm very sure in the last we will give an answer here guys. Okay, which of the following statement, which of the following statement about GM rubber crop is true? The one, India has approved the commercial cultivation of GM rubber crop, that is BT cotton. No GM food crop has ever been approved for the commercial cultivation in the country. GM rubber crop is specially made up for Kerala, yeah, none of the above. So which statement is right? Give me the answer in the comment box, guys. And then at last, I'll suggest to all of you guys, this is the Telegram platform where all the entire PDF are there. You will go and download it and see all the video links. I also share it. So it's a single one single solution with all of you to connect with me for the, all the science and take environment updates. My Unacademy profile is on academy.com oblique at Darida of Ravi P. Agri 2010. It is available where my live classes, okay, all the live classes on the plus iconic subsessions are part of free special classes, all are available here. So kindly follow those link. It is good for all of you. And this is the code during joining any courses, you can use it. The best course on an academy is the iconic subscriptions where you are accessing the mentorship program. A tutor will help you during your all the entire preparations. A question answer practice session also here guys and all the entire discussion will come through live sessions. Here, here a tutor will come into the study planning and open house educators, we, you people can also get access to connect. We all faculties during your any kind of doubts. And it's a plus and iconic subscription, the fees that you can see on the screen. Okay, that you can see on the screen guys. Okay, and uh, see one thing more guys, either you are joining the general studies plus or iconic subscription or you are going to join any optional subscription guys. Any optional courses. Ravi UPSC, if you will use it, the extra 10% discount in the fees. That is the teacher's code that you can prefer for your extra discount in the entire fees, guys. It's a 0% EMI facilities. And when an academy is providing the loan facility, if anybody have a financial crunch, so it's a beneficial for all of you guys. Now the money cannot create a hurdle in your preparations. And see, reach your IS dream with the Academy. Our learners, lovers, there's various rating that you can see on the screen. And yes, it is great, guys. News 50,000 plus learners already enrolled in our test series. How we are different with the other one, guys, is the printed comprehensive notes. We are providing 20,000 plus questions to the practice sessions, MCQs based crash courses, and the live mentorship also here. And yes, an Academy store is open now. It's a good news for all of you guys. Now, an Academy outlet you can see in uh, Rajendra Nagar, old Rajendra Nagar near Metro Pillar 121 Delhi. So physical appearance of an academy is also available now at Delhi. And here all the all the teachers that uh, they are taking the class on academy as a you know uh, in re re regarding your all the doubts and session they can also come and uh, even meet. Uh, you can meet it there on the uh, even in this place guys okay so it's a great opportunity to meet with the teacher physically also physically also not only the like live and online platforms so now an academy courses are launched on the uh, of uh, an academy uh, my courses like science and tech environment are available and these two subjects are very very important i hope you guys know very well 30 to 35 questions are coming from these two subjects only and 20 plus easily you can solve guys after listening my classes or reading my all the books of science and tech environment so this is a Ravi UPSC code during joining any courses you can use it. The next batch of civil services even going to start for the one year course on 23rd March. So don't miss it guys bilingual English medium batch both are going to launch here. And yes at last I'll suggest to all of you guys kindly subscribe this channel and like and share this video to rest of your friends. And for the PDF you go and download on the Telegram. So thank you everyone. See you soon in the next lesson. And I'm very sure you will enjoy these whole the lessons and definitely studying gradually I'll update you all all and all current updates so thank you everyone god bless you